hello guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to another video so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can install intellis idea in your windows operating system with java jdk and how to run any java code there okay so before i start this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for never miss any update So let's start it. So first of all, you need to open your favorite browser and search for IntelliS Idea and visit the first link which is appear here, which is from www.jetbings.com. So once you click on it, it will show you this kind of web page. And from here, you just go to the download. And as you can see at the time making this video, the IntelliS ID version is 21.3.2 and for download this software you can find here two options which is ultimate and community in this video we are going to download here community which is free for use you can also download the ultimate edition but you need to pay for it okay so for download the community version you need to go to the download so once you click on it it will show you the download page where as you can see the file size is 561.54 mb just download it so once our download is complete just open the folder and as you can see here is our intellis idea exe file so for install this you need to double click on it so once you double click on it it will show you the welcome page just simply choose your next option and here as you can see here is the destination folder and here is the space required which is need 2.1 gb and uh, just choose your next option and now it will show you the installation option from here you just choose here this option which is going to create a desktop shortcut and also choose here this and this and also this which is going to create a environment variable path okay just also choose here next and here you need to choose here your start menu folder i just set it by default and choose here install and our installation is complete so as you can see it will tell you to reboot it or restart your pc so just choose here the reboot now and choose here finish it will automatically restart your pc so once our restart is complete now it's time to open intellis idea just double click on it and as you can see it will show you to import intellis idea setting i just choose here do not import setting and click here ok and this is the interface of intellis idea so from here you need to create here a new project just click on it so for run any java code you need to install the java jdk without it you cannot run any java code here okay so if you don't know how to install the java jdk in your windows operating system don't worry about it check out the link in the description below where i show you the process how to do that or another option is here which is if you don't download it you can download the java jdk from here for doing this you need to go to the project sdk and choose here download jdk so once you click on it it will show you a download jdk pop-up window where as you can see at the time making this video the latest version of java jdk is 17 and at the below of the vendor as you can see this is the location path where our java jdk will install so just simply click on the download so as you can see once our installation is complete 
it will automatically detect our java jdk in project sdk as you can see here is the file if you already install the java jdk in your windows operating system it will automatically detect the path okay so now what you need to do simply click here next option and check mark this which is going to create a class with main method okay then again choose here next now here you can give here your project name and at the below of the project name as you can see this is the location where our project is saved so once you give here your project name then just click on the finish and it will automatically create your new project as you can see so here is our new project with our main class now you can write here any java code okay so i am just showing you to write here a hello world code but you can write here any kind of java code okay so this is our code and for run this you need to go to the run option just click on it and it will automatically build and run your code and here is our output okay so that's why you can easily install the intellis idea in your windows operating system and that's why you can write here any java code so i hopefully guys you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and share and if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for never miss any update and i will see you guys in this next one inshallah thank you so much